Okay, Marshad. I appreciate you doing this interview with me, man. Yeah, I no really problem, do. No problem. All right, start off with the first question. Uh, what was your first impression of me and or my services? Um, so it was around, yeah, it was last September. Um, I was following a lot of uh, Travis and Deja shit first. So mm -hmm. I got on Instagram. Um, somehow you popped up. So I was like, all right, let me see what he's talking about. It was different shit. So I was like, yeah, this nigga angry as fuck. I was like, okay. <laughs> Like this nigga angry, so I was like, but it's you know, I was saying it was it was different stuff from what I've heard as far as the whole uh, you know occult metaphysical shit. So I was like, all right, let me take a look into it. You know, drop the whole fucking feminine shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the feeling good about mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? It might sound vulgar, but all right, let me dive deeper into it. You know what I'm saying? As far as you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying the um the passion I say you had as far as you know presenting it. But no, I, I, I dive deep into it. So I was like, all right, let me let me go ahead and look into the boot camp. And then that's when I saw the services. So I was like, all right, let me get into that. Nice move. Yeah, you uh you took my boot camp. You took the last one I did. What was it? Was it January? No, nah, that was uh December. Octo October is um Yeah, it oh, was that's October. Right, you weren't in the last one, the last one. You were in uh, October was, one. Was, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, now I remember now. Yeah, I've, I've probably done like maybe three or four, three or four of them. But um, pretty soon I'm gonna have this uh, gilded server set up. You ever heard of Discord? Discord, uh, somewhat, yeah. Yeah, it's the thing gamers usually use for their communities. But uh, there's another program that's an alternative called Gilded. Uh, I set that up for the community. So eventually, and more than likely, hopefully, you'll be able to uh, communicate with other people who are in your boot camp. And people from other boot camps, so y'all have people to talk to, you know. Oh, okay. All right, let me jump on this next question. This next question, uh, here it is. All right, what do you feel your um, boot camp help you with the most? Honestly, a lot of shit. Like, if I did not attend the boot camp, I'd probably still be lost somewhere. Um, <laughs> no, that that should helped a lot specifically. Um, when I finally like, you know, process the information you were given um, in, in, in regards to the, uh, you know, clip, you know what I'm saying? I started spending more time as clip, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, like the observer seat. So now I can amend on the, con like you said before, amend in the context of just Marsha. Like now I have clip, now I can, now I have that awareness as clip. And since I had mm -hmm. that awareness, since I have the awareness of clip, um, Honestly, with the shadow work, I was able to look down on Marshall and be like, oh, okay, this is the shit that's in the shadow. This is the shit that's fucking him up right now. Let me take some shit out, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's fucking him up, that shit's fucking him up, that shit's fucking him up, you know? So, it helped me navigate with this shit smoother, although this shit is a joke, you know? But it did, you know, it did help me navigate with this shit a little bit differently, but just, um, and like what you said, just living a physical life uh, more lucidly, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm able to understand the nature behind shit and you know just dive deep learn more about shit so you know i don't get caught up in the uh you know the, the whole egotistical shit like like you were saying pride and mm -hmm. to me it was a lot of attachment you know now i'm able to just um and i believe i spoke with you um through messenger before as far as um you were sensing about multiple perspectives on things um me just you know in that shadow shit there was there was a part of me that only had the capacity to look at things in one way you know now since i have that awareness okay this is never my way is not always gonna be the right way you know let me listen to other perspectives and kind of process it together and see how to you know experiment with them and see how they work um yeah i was able to utilize you know just that for example you know to help navigate um much more smoother process information much more smoother it helped me think more philosophically um, cause I shift the perspective while I was thinking that's exactly. pretty, that's, that's the biggest thing. And then, um, honestly, just to, like creating deities and shit, like that's honestly, um, the whole deity thing. I just started jotting notes and whatnot. Like I gave them, um, like symbols and shit, like anime. I'm not even talking about anime earlier. Like I use, uh, bleach, you know, bleach, right? Um, the Espada Ooh. from bleach. 
I, I mm-hmm. give my deities these numbers, you know what I'm saying? So the, each one has their own specific numbers. So when I see these numbers, I'm like, oh, okay. Such and such trying to fuck me, you know? You know, <laughs> shit like that. So, you know, yeah, the it, content. It, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, the details, yep. So I give them details. Mm-hmm. I'm still working on it because, you know, it's never ended. But still working on it. But I pretty much get the gist now. Um, and I think the next question was going into um, what I was doing before, but I'm not going to jump it up. Well, yes, yeah, it's mostly the whole uh, in the world but not of it thing, you know, kind yeah, of yeah. leaning into that. Yep. Hell yeah. Uh, yep, in the world but not of it. So, yeah, just again, like now I'm just around here, like, man, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. You know, this is a joke. You know what I'm saying? We, You know, you got to do it. It's here. You can't throw it away. But, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not. Now I'm starting to understand that, okay, if I'm getting, even if I'm getting moved by some shit, I'm like, okay, let me get back on my square. Let me stop fucking around. Step back in it, you know. Because even when you when you're telling yourself, you know, hey, this part's a joke, this is a joke. But when you do get moved, you can go, okay, that's the thing. Let me look exactly. at that. Exactly. As opposed to trying it. to be like, no, nah, it's still a joke. I ain't really hurt, but you feel it though, you know. Yep. Yeah, not trying to avoid none of that stuff. That that's that's the key, man. I I, I love it. I'm proud as hell about that. Got to get out my pride a little bit. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, man.